Babe. Welcome. <laughs> it's going on. What to the decorations? Here is to our one year anniversary of our relationship. Oh. Oh my God. Babe, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. <laughs> so you've been counting? Of course I should be counting. Come here. <laughs> you know, um, it's been pure bliss with you. Unconditional love and support. Peace of mind. Absolute respect. Come on, you're divine, Vera. Like <laughs> my heart beats for you. Thank <laughs> you. So I, I look forward to many years of the celebration with you. In fact, till eternity. I love you. I love you too, baby. Come here. <laughs> Babe. Mm -hmm. Thanks for making this happen. Oh, come on. Anything for you? Are you sure? Of course I'm <laughs> sure. You know, I've come a long way. And I think it's about time you come see my family. Yes, I want to take you to my mom. You're joking, right? Yes. Ah! <laughs> you know, you've said a lot about your mom. So I finally get to meet her. And trust me, she will be more than excited to meet you too. Uh, I will be more than excited to meet her. Okay, let's see. By the time we get there, we'll, we'll choose <laughs> who's more excited. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, so. So cheers to more years. More years. Together. Eternity. Really. In peace. In peace. Unity. Unity. And understanding. <laughs> I love this time you kept to your words. Yes, mom. Actually, um, you know the thing um, with bankers and tight work schedule. Well, you chose the perfection, didn't you? Actually, I did. Who is this young lady you brought along? <clears throat> Forgive me my bad manners. Vera here is um, my girlfriend. Vera meets my darling mom. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you too. Um, Elliot told me a lot about you and it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Actually, this is the first time he's bringing a girl home. Hey, come on. That, that was necessary. Oh, please. My dear, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, the maid is almost done with cooking, so food will soon be served. All right. Thank you. <laughs> what? This is so unbelievable. You mean you've been together for over a year and I'm getting to know about it? Well, he needs to be blamed because I've been telling him I wanted to meet you, but he kept postponing our visit. Oh, that's because I have been waiting for the right time to do it. Anyways, we are here now, so... Case closed. There's Moving no on. because. It's such a silly boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, my dear, tell me. Tell me about you, your family, and what you do for a living. I, I work as a secretary in a fabric company, and my dad is late. My mom lives in the village where she sells food stuff in the market, the village market. Yeah. Pity about your dad. Thank you. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, mom, I think, unless I'm correct, it's getting late, so yeah. we have to start leaving. That's so soon. Hey, come on, mom, we have to. I promise to visit soon, or we, we, we will should. visit soon. Um. Honey, you know your way to this place, right? Mm -hmm. Because I would love to see more of you. You definitely will, and in my way. Hey, babe. What? 
Oh, come <laughs> on. Placebo, let her be. <laughs> Finish your drink. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, son. Hi, mom. I just got home. Hmm. Good to hear. Are your girlfriend? I dropped her off. That's a place on to go. Very nice. Well, I am calling because this is the first time you are introducing a woman to me. I'm an adult, so I know there are a lot to it. So tell me, what's your intentions towards that girl? Well, the truth is that I, Mom, I love her and I want to make her my wife. <laughs> well... Good to know. I'm so proud of you. Have you visited her people? Not yet. But I intend to do so after our engagement. That's very nice. However, before you do that, I would love you to know her background, the kind of friends she keeps, what she likes, her blood group and genotype. Oh. I already know a lot about her. Okay, except for her genotype. You see? Oh. Same mistake young people do before going into marriage. I am sure you know the consequences of mismatched genotype. Come on, mom. I do know. I know, mom. Okay, you know what? I... Okay, first thing tomorrow, we'll visit the family doctor, okay? So we can run the genotype test. Are you happy? Alrighty. That's my boy. Mommy will be waiting for the results. Okay, mom. Okay, talk to you later. Sure. Bye-bye. Mr. Elliot. As you can see, the result from the general type test we conducted, it is obvious that you both are not compatible for reproduction. And meanwhile, you can proceed with your affairs because of the already existing love between you both. But again, if you ask me, I will say don't. Mom, if I say that I am not confused and frustrated at this point, then I must be a liar. Because I don't know what to do. Hello, please calm down. We'll find a way out of this. What way could there possibly be? Isn't it obvious that Vera and I are both heirs? And we are not compatible for reproduction. Meaning that a one year of relationship will go down the drain like that. One whole fruitful year, Mom. Come on. Can we not conclude yet? Vera is too good a girl to let go just like that. We are going to consult another doctor to be sure of what we are doing. And you think that will change anything? We have to try first. Oh, mom, mom, please, just stop. It's I'll okay. Like... It's okay, just calm down for now, please. Please. Um, where is Vera? I don't know. I think she she may be upstairs or somewhere just crying. So I don't know. Oh my goodness! What kind of a man have I raised? You're supposed to be with her. You're supposed to be sitting by her side, consoling her. Now go, go to her before she cries no, out mom, her mom, eyes. I am I am really not happy about this. I know, but I'm there happy. first, she needs you. Will you perceive all? Go to that. Please. Tell her sweet things. Please.
Oh, Elliot! What are you doing to yourself? Huh? Let me have my drink. Not while I'm here. Bro. I know how much you love and care for Vera. But come on, man. This is reality. You have to move on. Oh. Move on to where? Vera is. Vera means the entire world to me. Don't you understand? Let me have my drink, please. Okay, hold on. Where is she right now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's she's somewhere. Somewhere. Something. I don't know. Give me my drink. I'll tell you the truth. Let's leave sentiments out of this. Right? Vera is an adult. And she understands that this is not your fault. So you have to move on. She has to move on as well. And stop doing this to yourself. Kenneth, give me my drink. Give me my drink. I just wish a miracle can just happen. Let me have my drink. No, oh, yeah, come on. Drink. You just have to. You have, you have to come to terms with the reality. Life is not fair. You have we to have come to terms with it. You know what? Let me just take you upstairs. You need to. Come on, come on. Let's go. To, let's, let's go to your room. Come on, Elliot. Come, come on. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I, I can't carry you. I let you give you for me. Just walk. Oh. Vera will complain, but just let's just get over to it, okay? Just get over to it. Elliot. Elliot. Oh, no, 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 Well, since you said you're not taking anything, it's okay. But your mom didn't tell me you're done with your PhD. Oh, I came back to fix it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, oh, hi, Elliot. Um, uh, Elliot, my friend's daughter, Debbie. Debbie, my son, Elliot. Hi. <laughs> hi. She just returned from the States finished her PhD and uh, she's back to the country to, you know, start up something for herself. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, sir, excuse me, mom. Can I have a word with you outside? Sure. Um, please say it. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be back. After you, my dear. I think you need to talk to her to get to know her. Who knows? She might be the perfect woman you will need this difficult time, so... <laughs> <laughs> she 
She said, <laughs> perfect woman I've been in. I am sure you're not serious, right? Of course I am. Say, Simon, um, I'll take my leave. Um, okay. Babes, she needed to see what I saw today when I went to the market to buy stuff for my Biki. Immediately I got to the market. Hmm. Guess what I saw? Vera, I said, guess what I saw? Mm. Babe, mm. guess what happened now? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to you. It's obvious you're not even listening to me. I'm talking and you're saying, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell me. What's the problem? There is no problem. Mm -mm. Be fine. Vera, stop. Stop now. What's there's no problem? I know you very well to dictate when there is a problem and when there is no problem. Start talking. What is it? I'm waiting. Vera. He's Elliot. What happened to him? I've been calling him for days now. He's not taking my calls. He's not returning them. Have you bothered to reach any of his friends? I spoke to Kenneth. I well, say he hasn't seen him for days. Go to his house now. Pay him a visit. Take out time. Go to his place. Find out if he's okay. At least I know that he too is going through a lot at the moment. Okay? Okay. So that's why I'm giving you gist and you're not just cheering up. Listening. <laughs> so immediately I got there. I went to the place so. To just speak my items for baking. The man just mistakenly hits my chest. I say, oh girl, you don't knock me for the chest, you don't say anything. Hey, I've been calling you, you've not been taking my calls. Um that's because um been I, busy? Um yeah, but are you okay? So, no, I'm fine. You sure? Baby, what is ready? Oh. You have a visitor. Who is she? Um, she is, um, yeah, she. You can't I... even introduce me. No, I, the, the, the thing is, uh, hmm. I see. Um, I remember, Vera, Vera, come on, come on. It's not what you think. I can explain. Vera. Vera. Vera.
Food is ready. Come, let's go eat so it doesn't get cold. You can go ahead and eat. I don't want to eat. I am not hungry. I don't understand. You said some minutes ago that you wanted jollof rice. Jollof. I know the stress in making jollof rice. The sweat. Everything I went through in the kitchen. Now I'm calling you to come eat and you're telling me I'm not hungry. Who says that? Baby, I just said I have no appetite for food. What else don't you understand? If you can't eat alone, you can kindly return the food back to the kitchen. Whatever. Fine. If you're not eating, that's your business. But please, next time, do not put me through the stress. I don't do others, you know. Meanwhile, who are you talking to over the phone? Yeah. The stuff you're hiding behind your sights. It's nothing. Vera, it's nothing and you're crying. Give it to me. It's nothing important. You Vera, don't... please put it here, please. Give me here. Yeah. Vera. What's happening? What's it? Babes. You don't have to kill yourself because... Elliot now has another woman in his life. No. You are a very special person. When I mean special, you're very, very special. And definitely you will find someone who would love you unconditionally. Please, Vera. Put yourself together and stop crying, please. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not. How can he just move on just like that? Like he moved on like nothing ever existed between us. Like I'm so punctured flat tire that he dumped in his trunk. <laughs> like he didn't feel anything or like we never shared anything. How could it be that easy for him to just move on? How? Yes. Yes, it is true he moved on so early. But I'm glad you found out early too. We shouldn't be found as an abnormal pair. That's when the error comes into play. Please. You will definitely find your match. And the person will love you, stay by you, appreciate everything that has to do with you. Vera, please stop crying, okay? Elliot's never loved me. He never did. We don't want you to even think of that now. He okay? never loved me if you Vera, didn't. Vera, please. Vera, please. He can't move on like Vera, that. Vera, don't you understand? Vera, look at me. Look at me. Vera, look at me. Vera, look at me. Vera, look at me. Vera, look at me. Listen to me. Just, just. Do you know, he couldn't even introduce me to the girl. He couldn't even open his mouth to talk. Vera, Vera, listen to me. Bro, what happened? I thought you were done with her. You already moved on with Debbie, so why the sudden change of mind? Goodness. Here. Yeah. Thanks. Vera came here and saw Debbie. 
Don't you understand? What is there to understand? You made it obvious that you should move on with your life. I mean, you should be happy by now. I still have feelings for her. I still love Vera. I feel something for her. I still love her. Like a part of me still wants her. Elliot, love cannot change the fact that your genotypes do not match. Yeah. And you know that, huh? Listen, man, I know this is hard for you. But come on, bro, you have a good woman by your side now. Debbie is there. And she didn't let her slip off your hands. Elliot, no, you don't get it. Listen, you and Vera cannot live together. You can't marry. Elliot, you shouldn't have left just like that. Look, I know both of you can never be together anymore. But what happened to the love that you once shared? This is so unfair, I must say. Vera almost took her life. Um, Sonia, I, I am sorry, I, that I, I am sorry about everything, to be honest, there is nothing I can literally do at this point. Yes, because if I had continued with this, it's, we might just end up regretting it. Knowing that we both are not, um, I and Vera are not compatible for reproduction here. I just guess it's destiny working against us. It's okay. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. Please send me all to Vera, please. I will. What's up? Well, I'm good, and you? I'm fine. Where are you headed? Uh, I'm heading home. I just closed from work. Oh, okay. Why? Come in. Let me let me give you a lift. Um, <laughs> don't worry. My house is just here. Come on, the road is messy and it's sunny. Come on, let me give you a lift. Let me drop you. Uh, well, if you insist. Yeah, I insist. Thank you. Well, let me get the door.
Thank you so much for the ride and also for the food. You deserve better. <laughs> it's nothing. Well, you've done enough. Well, should I say more than enough? <laughs> All uh, right. Okay, I have to leave now. All right. Thank you so much. And take care of yourself. You too. Bye. Bye. So why did you call me out here? Um, the reason why I call you, you may not come be like say you say I uh, they impatient. I won't ask you. Food never ready. Chop. Hey, God of mercy. So it's because of food that you called me here. But you know if food is ready, I'll bring to you now. Eh? Mm -hmm. I beg so stop stressing me. Yeah, no, you say, wait, that one I'll buy the way. I wanna buy the way. Give things don't be bother me for mind. You understand? I say, Alex, say I go ask you. Mm, I'm listening. You yeah, but don't say you can't pay so I be. You know me. I get very soft hearts. And for your matter in particular, I sign consignments, but so this one consign me. I say I go ask you. You know, see this house big where we. You know, as this house big, so you know, see now so AC big there everywhere. Meaning, see even if say sun shine everywhere for this house, must go. Talk more of see when rain fall. You know when those heavy rain they fall, those are where they carry breeze. Um, can you go straight to the point? At the point I they go so now. You see, you know, say I tell you, say I get caught. So sometimes, especially when rain falls, so I go close my eye. I could see you with the shake, with the say, go, go, go. I could see which kind of revelation of this. Even sometimes for Kuro Kura afternoon, if I see you if you pass gates, you go carry your boniki, they pass, carry rob, they pass. And I know say that your chest to the robber. No yeah, no, no why me. Now your chest to the robber, but I know. So I can't say how you take the cope if go catch you. Could I boniki the rope for chest that it's in figure kill you? One day chest go hurt you. If you say you don't die. As a consigned colleague, you understand? I speak I ask how you take the coup first, but I don't say you know gets better way. So if you be say you come by yourself, respond, then I know how to I will still take help. As I come with question, I come with solution too. So, so what are you insinuating? <laughs> you can't use another English say it. Okay, wait till they try to talk now. You do physics. You tell you about motion. When two things they in motion, they move. You feel hot. So for example, me and you now we did motion, we they move, we go hot. If our body begin hot, that one will come make us sweat. As we sweat, go down, come on, so we go enter bedroom, go bath. Then from that bedroom, for there, so if you wish, if you see maybe the rain, maybe depending on how long the rain lasts, if the breeze no quick stop to the blue, we bath finish the breeze uh, still the blue. Listen, listen, this will be the very last time you will stop me to say this rubbish. See, I'll report you to Madame, and you know how it, it will be. That is when your head will come down. Everybody should report. Vicky? So what's your place? Just talk now. Don't... Vicky? The bad thing I do say I swear to go hand person. I see me can tell her. Person no get husband. You no get boyfriend. You no get ex. You no even get SS mass. Nothing. If person no help, you will see person no help. You will call person bad person. Hi. Can Yeah. Good day. Good day. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm all right. Oh. Sorry to ask, but <laughs> to what do I owe this visit? Let's say I remembered you and decided to come see you. I hope you're not mad, though. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just that you are the least person I expected to see. Ah, well, I was thinking, if you don't mind, let me take you out. Let me take it so we're nice and, you know, let's sit and talk. Um, well, that's okay. I mean, I've been indoors all day and that's fine. Okay. Alright, you want to wait while I just go dress yeah, up? Yeah, I'll just wait for you here. Alright, let me dress up then. Okay. <laughs> you are so funny, honestly. That, that, was, that was a funny one, honestly. Yeah. Well, that just gets cracked, right? You've got to hear the funniest part. You don't need to say the funniest. <laughs> what I'm saying is that 
you are free. Uh, like for real. Maybe you should just venture into comedy, uh, skit making. You do well. Really? Honestly, you should. <laughs> okay. Why are you staring at me now? <laughs> Tara, you're beautiful. Thank you. And you're a good woman. Oh. One with prospects. The kind of woman every man would want. Vera, I like you so uh, much. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Thank no, you. This is not a compliment. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. I want you. I am AA, so we are not going to worry about any complications. Elliot put you up to this, right? No. Oh. This is the reason for your sudden kindness. I should have known. Vera, hold on, hold on. Vera, no, that, I didn't mean it that way. Vera. Why are you knocking at the door like that? Where is Elliot? Well, he is not around. Really, do you go to married people's houses without calling to confirm if they're in the house? You must be dumb and slutty. Elliot! 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 De What's going on here? Listen to me, Elliot. I have no business with you. So I beg you in the name of God, count me out of whatever game you and Kenneth are playing. K Kenneth? If it repeats itself again, have an answer to that question. In fact, I cannot give you an answer. No, to no, that no, you will answer me. You will answer me. Okay? Hey, young man, are you cheating on me? Ah, you are cheating on me with that thing. Your mom. Where's my phone? I need my phone. Okay? I need to call your mom and tell her everything that you're doing. You keep walking out on me. I don't like it. I need my phone. Where is it? I kept it there. What's the meaning of this madness? My phone? It was here! I don't know what's the meaning of madness. Shut up whenever I talk, you listen. What's wrong with you, you're Debbie? Yelling. You're yelling. Yes, I'm yelling because you don't you don't you don't think you can't read the room. I can't even believe I'm I am having this conversation with you. I thought you get the moment the, the memo the last time from outside. But apparently you can't read the room. Mom, I am fed up, like, I can't continue like this. She picks an argument over every little thing. Come on. It's okay, son. In my own opinion, this is a sign of true love. What true love are you talking about? You don't understand me here. Like, she complains over everything I do. She, 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 she behaves like she's, she's the only one from the rich home. Come on. How do I keep up with that? Son, stop. 
Somehow do you love someone when you do not know about their bad sides? It is okay to disagree now. Mom, it's not as easy as you say. But, okay, I'll try. Please do. Just take care of yourself. And you too. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Kenneth, what are you thinking? Vera is my ex, and you couldn't have done a thing like that. I'm sorry, bro. You're sorry? Honestly, I am. You know, she, she's been going through a lot. I pitied her, and I felt she needed some compensation. And you used yourself as compensation, isn't it, Kenneth? Come on, say the truth, because I know you wanted to sleep with her. You've always had your eyes on her from the very onset. No! You want to sleep with her? Come on, what? What are you saying? I don't want to sleep with her. Besides, you guys are no longer together. She's no longer your girlfriend. Anyway, that's, um, that's none of your business. But at least you should stay clear. The thing is that Vera came to my house and that Debbie picked an offense in it. But, but, but it's fine, like you rightly said, she's no longer my girlfriend. But have it at the back of your mind that you crossed the line. You, you betrayed the bro code. There are boundaries to this thing and you should have stick to yours. Forgive me. I'm sorry for all the drama. I'm sorry. Baby. Babe. Yourself, the baby, every come on, baby, do this one for me now, please. Please, hmm? let me take care of you. Let me spoil you a bit. Mm, you okay. like this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But good you are time. fine before. Mm, I should go down. I thought you are fine before. <laughs> mm? You like bad things. <laughs> yeah, relax and we get to something to drink at it, okay? It's alright. Mm. 
Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> no much salt, please. Okay, yes. Mistress. <laughs> I don't know why he likes this. I'm a good cook. Mm -mm. Take the what's that? <laughs> it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm making that face. I made it very well. Hmm. I eat it some more. I don't understand. Wait now. Take it easy on me. I'm sorry. I eat. No, don't you? Really. Mm. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's... And that's too big, reduce it a bit. My mind, my mouth is not that wide. Mm -hmm. Better. My concern is here is that as far as you're eating, I'm good. I think I'm in good field though. Hey, no, 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 no. You're not gonna do that. You're not done eating. Take and eat now. You know, it's gonna make your body fresh, to make you carry the child very well, you understand? Okay, even if you're done eating, at least. It's some more. My daughter is not done eating. I don't understand your daughter. Yes. Well, my son is filled up. Okay? She. It's a he. Hey, come on, stop. Okay, you know what? Let's not argue about this. Okay, you're gonna give birth to twins. Yes, a boy and a girl. <laughs> we'll share it 50-50. Ceteris -50. Paribus. Really? All things being equal. Why do you want to stress my life? Who told done. you I want twins? Hey, I'm okay on. with one. But you said you wanted a boy or the girl, so. A boy go. first and we're good. Okay, okay, eat. No, 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 I'm done eating. If you want a boy, eat. If you want a boy, eat. Mm. Just because mm. you're mm. So for me, I want the girl, eat for me. Mm. <laughs> I'll vomit, I'll vomit, I'm gone. I'm sorry, let me give you some water. Mm. Oh, God. I want you water. Okay, then we'll get to chill water. Hey. Doing to yourself. Leave it. Vera. Vera. believe you've turned to drinking alcohol. When? Why are you doing this to yourself? Fira, you've become a shadow of yourself. Look at you. You're still living in your past. I'm still in doubt that a girl at your age does not know her genotype. Vera, please. I don't mean to say hurtful words to you, but that's just the truth. I don't know what's wrong with girls of these days, including myself and you. All we're interested in a relationship is how to get the luxuries, the gifts. We don't care to know the nitty gritties that makes a relationship. Your present mood is really a problem to me right now. I'm going to go in there. I'll fix water for you to have a bath.
<laughs> yeah. So you know, um, in my stormy days, you came into my life and the storm became calm. You're so unique. You're such a beauty to behold. I'm blushing. You're amazing. You're everything I desire in a woman. And of course, I want you to become the mother to my unborn children. And it's only appropriate that I'll do this. Oh my God! Letters couple to be. The letters couple. Wow. I'm sure your mother will be so happy to hear about this news. <laughs> yes, she will. Come on, let's go inside. <laughs> okay. Oh, my dear. Ladies first. Oh, my dear. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> I've always prayed for a day like this. And today we're here. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much. Thank you for helping my son find himself again. <laughs> thank you, Mom. And also, please help me thank this what? cute, handsome young man here. Uh, he has shown me nothing but true and unconditional love. I guess I should know better. <laughs> um, well, the letters. Uh, preparations are going on already. I've booked the attire my political party members and I will be wearing. <laughs> I've contracted one of the most powerful event planners in the country. And we're having a meeting tomorrow. <laughs> <coughs> so it's good timing you guys are here. Okay, mom. My mom will never change. Oh, please okay. <laughs> So, um, anyway, Mom, we wanted to tell you that we decided to travel to Switzerland for our wedding shopping. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you're yeah. going to Switzerland? Yes. yes. When? Soonest. Mm -hmm. um, not tomorrow because we are having a meeting tomorrow. Mm. Oh. Okay. 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 That's good. <laughs> Talk, please. <laughs> Food will be ready soon. Please don't, don't, don't give her wine. Of course, mom. Come on. There's only Just a little. Oh, please. Little words. Don't get me started. Small. Just give me some wine. Hey, look. Mom. Stop. <laughs> Elliot just engaged his new girlfriend and they are currently in Switzerland for their wedding shopping. Is it because of this stupid thing you called my attention? Vera, what will you call this stupid now? See, I'm happy that you're, you're coming out of this. But to heal completely, you have to forget about everything that had happened in the past. Um, Sonia, can we just change this topic? Sorry, oh, yes. Oh. Bro, mm -hmm. honestly, I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> you shouldn't just be happy for me. You know, you should go get yourself a girl. Yeah, I'm 
Working towards that. You should, they're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> now you found yours. <laughs> I believe I'm the next in line. Before? Am I the next in line again? <laughs> <laughs> so how far the suits did it fit you so well? Yeah, yeah, I tried it on. Man, I love it. It's good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. But hold, hold, hold on, let me ask you. Yeah. So if the suit doesn't fit well, will you return it back to Switzerland? Um, let me think about that. The answer is no, I won't return it back to Switzerland. Are you will wear it like that. It's very, very serious. You will rock it like that. On your wedding day? On my wedding day. It's more reason why you wear it like that. Because your it's best my own man. Wedding. Yes. <laughs> in fact, I wish I'd known I would have um I would have ordered for size 70. <laughs> no, 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 you don't even see me away. Why would they give you size 70? Oh, come on, man. I don't know. Let me look for you on my wedding day and not see you. Guy, not when you give me an oversized suit. Yeah. I won't even come. Honestly. Anyway, who's that the... best man's office will be vacant. Anyway, who's uh, the girl? Standing in front of my entrance. Do you know him? Oh God, no, I don't even know this man. Who... Go on, speak. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Um, your wife to be. Uh, yes. What about her? She's pregnant with my child. You see? Can someone start talking? Um, I was her mother's driver. Okay. But she switched my responsibility to driving her instead. Okay. The closeness sparked off a little romance between both of us. And. Um, by the time she returned from her master's program abroad, one thing led to another and she got pregnant for me. The mother found out and got me arrested and detained. And by the time I got out, she was no longer there. I did everything I could to locate her, but the mother had already given me a stern warning not to come anywhere close to the compound, let alone look for her. I almost gave up. A few days ago, I found out about her wedding, your wedding together. I saw the pre-wedding photos on the internet. So I decided to trace this place. Debbie. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm sorry. What, what are you sorry for? You should be telling me that this man here is lying. Come on. I am sorry. I am so sorry. All this was done by my mother. I don't have her hand in it at all. She said she didn't want me to fool around. I to destroy her political career. That was why she planned all this. I am sorry, Elliot. I am so sorry. I am sorry, please. I swear, I don't, I don't, I don't, it was my mother. It was my mother that planned all this. I swear. Uh, excuse me, uh, excuse me, please. Sir, I, I am not, I am not here for the apologies and reconciliation. I just want to know what her plan is for the child, my child. Um, Andy or whatever you call yourself, don't worry. You'll get your child. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't plan for this. It was my mom. It was my mother. 
What are you sorry for? Are you sorry for the fact that you lied to me? You deceived me? Or the fact that you lied to me because you want me to fight for someone else's child? Or the fact that you and your mom and my mom connived in ruining my life? No. You get out of here. Leave us! And you, let it happen back. I will see you here. I will perceive you. I will smell you from out of Because if I get a hold of you, I swear. Elliot! 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 Magisa! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mom! 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 I thought you cared about me. I thought you loved me. I thought you had my best interest at heart. Without knowing all this time around, it has been all about your own selfish reason, your own political ambition. That you place that unfortunate mistake on my path. But anyway, she's out of my life. And she's out of my life for good. You can go ahead and have her. Marry her for all I care. Son. What is it? There's something I need to tell you. Victoria, what is it you want to talk to me about? I am not in a good mood for this. Okay. Leave it to you next time. No, Uka, you'll be in the mood though. Because if I don't even tell you this thing, God will be angry at me. Okay, go ahead. Talk. Okay. Um, Uka, the other day I, I heard Madame Mufu telling somebody to change the blood um, blood test results. <laughs> what? I wasn't really um, focused to understand what she was saying, but I knew she was talking about you. And then, then the other day when you came back and I, I was crying, when I saw you crying, I knew it was about you. Hmm. Oh my God. Hey, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mom. Oh my mom scared me. Oh. My own flesh and blood, what did I do to deserve this? Stand there. Wait till you go tell Madame Pekin. Wait, oh. Was that the reason you were shouting my name like that? Eh? Now, was that the reason you tell him? Wait till you tell Madame Pekin. Answer simple question. Wait till you go tell Madame Pekin. Exactly what I heard and saw. That was what I heard. <laughs> exactly what you heard and saw. I thought I say that you go carry your hand kill yourself for this cup of war. People don't believe. They say you on a man who send you me on a man carry your mark. You won't die. You won't kill yourself. It is my die and not yours. So leave me to die my die. You won't die. And you know while I die where they hungry, you go die. You go die to die. But before you die, go give me my food, make I chop. If I chop finish, pass the go die. Oh, no, 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 no. That is the only place you're present. See, listen, this will be the very first time. And the last time you will call me again for this nonsense. Rubbish. Say no. Only when I the talk, you call rubbish. Only when I talk finish, you just call my talk rubbish. We will see. Only man, I know what I will do you for this house. Me and you. I know what I will do you. I don't know what I will do out. <laughs> I don't get to this for where I go do our shot. But no while I will go see.
Why did you do it? Do what? I don't understand what you're talking about. Why did you manipulate the test results? Why? Take your hands off me. You're choking me. And I will strangle you to death. Why did you lie to me about the genotype result? Start talking! You want to pay me to do it! Take your hands off me. Vera. Are you looking for someone? Vera, I, I want us to talk. Talk about what? At least can I can we go inside and talk? I'm obviously not interested in whatever it is you have to say. Hey, come on. Please. I am sorry. I am so sorry for the way I treated you. My actions weren't intentional. I am sorry for. All the things I have put you through. My mom actually planned everything. And you won't believe it if I tell you that the test results were manipulated. I am so sorry. Please believe me. Your mom did what? The test results were manipulated. Yes. Your mother was nice to me. Why would she do something like that? It was for her own selfish reasons because she wanted me to get married to her friend's daughter because of her political relationship and you're here now because your marriage didn't work out come on it's not true no, if it did work out will you be here come on that's not true you know me too well Vera. look me in the eyes i still feel something for you i still love you you know me you're not talking you know your way out Vera, 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 please, please. Oh, no, man. I don't study you well, well, and I don't see, see, na English, you do understand well, well. So this question I want to ask you, I go ask you for English. Oh, no, man, why are you being wicked to the children of the world? Point of correction. My name is not a I mean, why? How many times have I told you to stop calling me on your name? Call me Victoria. That is my name. Queen Victoria, call. Queen Elizabeth, me. No, do you tell me, say, your native name now, no, me. Who would you talk? Yes, and I choose what to be called. It's none of your business. No, Allah. Madam Victoria, why you don't decide, say, you know, go give me food? And you know for you where say, if I know chop, I know the fifth function way. Exactly my point. The huge amount of food I give to you is what makes you imagine rubbish. You need to fast today. Yes. Oh no, man. Sorry, I mean, um, Victoria. Why are you wicked like this? actually tricked me. Please. I'm sure you've been sitting here for hours. Yes. Look, I'll, I'll advise you go home and come back tomorrow. Maybe she might listen to you. I can't go home. That's the problem. I don't know what I'll do. I might end up just doing something stupid. I can't think straight right now. Please, Sonia, please. I beg of you, please let me talk to Vera. I, I still love her. Please. Sonia, what's the meaning of this? 
At least just hear him out first. What please. is he doing? Why did you bring him inside? Hey. Don't touch him. Why did you bring him in? Vera, you should at least hear him out. Please forgive me, Vera, please. I said take him out. Vera, he's on his knees. Though. I said take him out. Please. Vera. Please, Vera, please. Do you want me to leave? Calm down now. Do you Vera. want me to leave? No, Vera. Get Vera, please. Okay, okay, I will leave. I will leave. I will Vera, leave. I will Vera. leave. I will leave. I will leave. Can he go? I will leave. Oh, I will leave. Vera, please. Just. No, don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate you. Vera is is leaving. I would not like a repeat of something like this again. But at least you should hear him out. He said it's not his fault, it's his mother's. I hope you're happy. I hope you're fulfilled for ruining my life, Mom. Don't worry. The Lord will soon come for you and your doctors for all your atrocities. And I want you to also know that I will never forgive you for the rest of my life. Elliot! It is very easy for you to blame me. You didn't blame me when your father left us to die. When you were in your sick bed. When you were in your sick bed, did you blame me? That woman you called my political friend was the only one there for me. She was the only one who cared. You went to the best university ever. Cut you of that woman. What did she ask? This little... So that our children could be matched. So that the relationship could linger and last forever. Is that too much to ask for? Is that... I wanted the best for my child. That woman you called a political friend was the only woman who has ever shown us love, cared, compassion. All I was looking for is a better life for my son and you see me as a greedy, selfish, ambitious politician. Why didn't you blame me when we had nothing to eat? Why didn't you blame me? The platform you're enjoying today, it's courtesy of that woman. Everything we have is from her. I was only trying. I was only trying to pay back. I was only looking for a way the relationship will last. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. <gasps> Debbie's pregnant. And it's obvious that the, the pregnancy is not for me. Yes. Which means that we are not getting married anymore. And um, for your information, I want you to know that I will never marry anyone else. And I will never set my eyes on you again. I will never forgive you. I was only looking out for you, Elliot. I was only trying. 
trying to say that my child is okay and above every level. Where did I go wrong? I have been calling, however, he's not taking my calls. Kenneth, Elliot is my only child. If anything happens to him, I am doomed. Mom, don't worry. Nothing will happen to him. Do I went to his apartment before now? But he wasn't there. I called him, he wasn't answering. But Mom, not to worry. I'll reach out to some of our friends to know if they've seen him. Kenneth, please do. Please. Sure. And once I hear anything, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll be counting on you. Please, Mom, I don't want you to worry about anything. You'll I'll be fine. try not to. You'll be fine, Mom. It's okay. Thank you. I, I... I'll be counting on you. Sure. My dear, please forgive me. But I need to talk to Vera. She's the only one who can make my son return back home. He's all I've got. Please. I'm sorry for all the trouble I made Vera go through. Be cool. Please. Sonia. Please listen to what she's saying. She's sorry for everything. Please. I know you can do this. You can talk to her. Not as easy as you think. There is absolutely nothing we can do about this. Absolutely nothing. Vera is deeply hurt. And she does not want to see anyone as we speak. Sonia, you are a friend. Just put in words for us. We did already and she, she's not going to budge. So what do I do? How can I go home without seeing my son? Ma, I just, I feel you should give it time. Sonia, please. I can't do anything about it, I'm serious. Please. Just give her time, please. Vera, please. Please, find a way in your heart to forgive me. I know I have wronged you. Please, help me to locate my son. Your son is not here. You should at least hear him out. Please forgive me, Vera, please. I said take him out. Vera, he's on his knees. Right? I said take him out. Please. Vera. Please, Vera, please. My mom actually planned everything. And you won't believe it if I tell you that the test results were manipulated. 
I am so sorry. Please believe me. Do you go to married people's houses without calling to confirm if they're in the house? You must be dumb and slutty. Vera, please. Please find a way in your heart to forgive me. I know I have wronged you. Please. Help me to locate my son. Please listen to what she's saying. She's sorry for everything. Please. I know you can do this. You can talk to her. Not as easy as you think. It will take in my cuffs to speak of my remarks. I'm so sorry. I wish I could change the hands of time. I would do better than allow a selfish ambition get in the way of true love. <laughs> Elliot, I wish you to give me a chance to make it up to you. I'm sorry, my son. I wish you to give me a chance to make it up. Mom! Oh! I'm sorry! <laughs> Sorry, my actions pushed you this far. Sorry. Shh. I should be the one apologizing. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have come between you both. Vera, please. Find a way in your heart to forgive me. I beg you. Please. Please. Please, stop, stand, please. Mom, please, please, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. We all have moments in our lives. When we do the wrong things, thinking it's the best for us. I'm glad no one got hurt. I'm done here. I have to go. <laughs> Vera, wait. I. I want you. I love you. I tried, but there was no replacement for you. I want you to stay. I want you to stay with me till eternity. Let me treat you like the woman you are, like the woman you truly deserve to be, and the way you like to be treated. I can't imagine a life without you. Please. Marry me. Please. 
second yes. Please. Thank you. 